We have huge news in medicine, more specifically in cancer treatment, and it's AOH 1996. It's small molecule which has anti-cancer effect, and it's important because it's effective more than 70 solid tumors. So more than 70 different solid tumors. It's huge number actually. And what's the idea and why it's so important? AOH1996 exhibit anti-cancer action and it can regress and shrink tumor up to 10%. So it has almost 90% effectivity in many cases. Uh, what is main limitation? Main limitation is that we have no clinical studies in humans yet, but we already have phase one clinical studies and results already promising. That's why it's so important. And AOH1990 six molecule is effective against lung cancer, breast cancer, thyroid cancer, colon cancer, and many other common cancers. It's really important news. And there are many studies, especially on animals, like for example, in mice, uh, AOH1996 was more effective than conventional treatment of radioiodine uh, therapy. And radioiodine therapy in popular thyroid cancer is already very effective treatment. And this molecule exhibits much more effectiveness and it's really important. Now let's say what is mechanism and first start with analogy and then explain mechanism of action. Imagine huge airplane hub where lots of airplanes are take off and um, departure every thing every day lots of such planes and these planes imagine as cancer cell it's cancer cells and now imagine huge storm which prevents which prevents these airplanes from take off and this storm is AOH1996. So if we imagine that uh, these airplanes are cancer cells, this storm prevents them from take off and from flying, from releasing into our body. That's AOH1996 is doing. Now let's say what AOH1996 is doing more detailed. It binds and inhibit to proliferating cell nuclear antigen or PCNA. This small antigen is important because it binds to DNA polymerase and clips it into DNA. So it holds into DNA and DNA polymerase is important to duplicate DNA. So uh, to create another DNA from already existing template. So now let's see whole picture. We have proliferating cell nuclear antigen which acts as a clip for, uh, for DNA polymerase and we have also AOH1996. When AOH1996 inhibits this molecule uh, DNA polymerase will not be clipped onto DNA so replication process will not happen and from this DNA template of DNA will not create another DNA that's why this whole process of duplication or replication or creation of new DNA is disrupted whole process and this process is active in cancer cells and not normal in uh, not in normal cells. Uh, of course, in normal cells we also have DNA proliferation and duplication and replication processes. But why is AOH1996 uh, 
important because it targets specifically uh, specific proliferating cell nuclear antigen which is specific for cancer cells not normal cells but cancer cells so it affects cancer cells and don't uh, does not uh, disrupt normal cell cycle or normal cell living another mechanism we can say is that we have uh, in cancer cells we have transcription replication uh, conflicts uh, it's specific type of complex which means if we have one cell and in this one cell we have DNA of course and uh, in this within this one cell replication and uh, transcription process occur same time uh, it, it looks like for example uh, you have one book and you want to photocopy this book and same time draw sketch from this book so you have two persons who want this book and these two persons take this book and eventually none of them can take this book because they have conflict conflict with each other the same process is here we have transcription uh, replication conflict uh, because this cell tries to make new copy of DNA and same time to do new copy of RNA RNA so it's conflict it's conf this conflict is common in cancer cells and uh, our model our molecule of AOH 1996 uh, prevent this conflict uh, this conflict resolve so it helps it helps this conflict and eventually DNA is damaged and eventually the cell will die so one was uh, important uh, proliferating cell nuclear antigen inhibition and second is that it targets these conflict ridden cells and disrupts their ability to resolve these conflicts that's why it's important so now let's summarize uh, this AOH 1996 molecule is really revolutionary and really important because previously it showed that proliferating cell nuclear antigen was not possible to use as a target uh, for cancer medication and it's really new uh, it's hoping for many patients because even for now lung cancer breast cancer even thyroid cancer colon cancer prostate cancer is important and huge challenge from modern medicine that we have no effective treatments we have some degree of treatments but they are not 100 percent effective that's why we need new drugs and phase one clinical trials already started it means we assess safety of these drugs in humans after this there will be if first phase will be effective and will be uh, positive results second phase will be already uh, to assess efficiency of this drug among humans uh, and third phase will be uh, of course efficiency and uh, safety and compare from uh, compare to traditional treatment so we have traditional treatments we have new drug and we will compare how it's effective compared to new uh, already existing drugs so we have positive signal that's really good but we have long way it it may takes if everything will be good it may take several years ahead until we we will have such drug but it's really promising that's important thank you very much thank you for your interest if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now